So, fuel pump is in, right? Now we move to the oil pan. Some Honda Bond, right? Some best stuff out there. And a brand new OEM oil pan. Alright? Because if I show you, well, when it was on the pallet, it looked so bad, right? But, once I took it out, and I hung it, opened it up to this, uh, to the chassis here, it is one bad pan. Look at that. sitting on the powder here but it is bent to shit that's bad that's bad and uh you can tell i don't know what they were trying to do there but that's horrible so with all that being said move the uh frame Who knows? I mean, transport. I don't know. It looks pretty bad. But, uh. Still source one, and, uh. Here we have it. I'll put it on. There's no way I would keep this running like this. So 
So therefore, we gotta go get another one. You know? Uh, shouldn't have much oil left. And uh, that's today's task is here. And I will probably be doing one other thing to the car. Start mocking up the intercooler in the front for it to uh, start cutting it up and getting stuff welded and making brackets. And the car's not too far from it being turned over. Exhaust will be the last thing on the list. So let's keep going. Let's knock this down. side. task of cleaning this off right you know it's got to get nice and clean all this gets thrown trying to get all this out of here but yeah I mean that's pretty much what you need to do we shouldn't have this much gunk in it you know well any type of sealer I guess gasket maker it went all out with this thing so I'm gonna say that with the impact of whatever they hit it was leaking everywhere <laughs> from everywhere I mean pretty much that's what it looks like here anywho this is just the next process After taking it off just cleaning it up, man. Cleaning it up. And, uh, I think on the OEM it does the, does the same thing, but I mean, there's no reason to have this much. Look at that, it's all the way in here. You know? So, we gotta take out some of this stuff and uh, go from there. No big deal. All it is is the same repetitive until it gets clean. All right. As you can see, it looks real good here. Look at that. Nice and clean. All the way around. Yep. Here we go. Let's 
So what I like to use is a small piece of brillo, right? And just clean it up, make it look new. Remember, since you already have it open, make sure you look inside. You gotta remove it, it has two bolts, two number 12s, one little 10, right here, okay? And because I saw all that silicone down there was removed, and yes, it is dirty and full of uh, crap in there, so you gotta clean it up. Because that will hurt the oil, you know, when it's picking up the oil. You don't want that. You don't want to starve the GTIR. So we're going to do it a little clean and then we'll give you another update right here real quick. So all of this gunk comes out of it, right? Sometimes when you see something like that, like it was on the outside, look, that looks like it's been on there for a while. That's been on there for a while. So this engine has been started. You can see, there's none in there. There's none out here. It's nice and clean. Now I'm just gonna blow it and put some uh, brake cleaner through it, clean it up, put it back on. You can see it is completely clean all the way to the bottom I'm gonna air hose those out a couple little things left there but other than that she's good to go and that should be it yeah got little stragglers there but I'll get them out put it back on we're good. So there she is. No orange of any kind anywhere. A little tedious, but that's what needs to get done. All right, so replace it. The oil pickup. Same, you put it right back. It's got a number 10. 12s it goes right back all right and uh, you know because we already cleaned the outside and always check the inside when you see a lot of uh, silicone like that you might want to verify and check the inside of the strainer in here because you don't want to starve by clogging it up your engine can burn it up and you will damage it so you don't want that just a little snug right there good to go number 10 is on the side so we put that back together. And you know, it has that little, it's just a baffle, right? The baffle is real simple. Seven number 10, goes back together. And we're good. Always check, verify, triple check. That you don't end up hurting anything. And you're able to have a good outcome with your your build. Right? You have a good outcome. 
and um, it only makes sense, right? I mean, there was so much silicone in here. It only makes sense that there was plenty more inside the strainer. Once I took the baffle off, I was like, man, there's more on top of the baffle. So I took that off as well, you know, make it look good so that when it goes back, it goes back nice and easy with no issues. good it was just that area all right so we put it back and do the same thing put everything back the same way and you hand start everything there's that fine thread you don't want to mess them up you know some some guys just go with the damn drill and ruin it and Ooh. That's a party I don't want to go to. So, all the way around. Do the outside, put the new cover, and we're good. And there it is, brand new pan, all ready to go. You know? Is there? It's good, nice and clean. That's one of the tasks for today. Again, having that uh, parts car out there, Mr. Burgundy. Took this off, put it on, blew through it. Everything's good. This car, for some reason, didn't have it, so now I'm putting it on. We're gonna use it here. It has a clip down there, the clip right here, it slips right in, like so, there we go, put this clamp down here, these are good where they belong, that goes in that hole right there, like so, there we go. That's where it belongs. Clip that one down there. And then put a soft hose. And now this one goes in here. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, she's a fighter. She likes to tussle. Soft hose needs to go from from here to that one right there. This one right here. Nice little 90 and we're good to go. There it is. I decided not to cut this because I want just a little bit more line here. It should be fine. It's all the way down. It's not in the way. I just brought it down. And I mocked up the uh, gas pedal to the back. Because on DD it runs through here. And it's so long that it melts it. And I even have some of this on my valve cover so we're gonna change it on this one the pedal works as it should 
we just need to find the barrel like I said cut this put the barrel in here there are some holders that'll rise it that'll keep it up here higher I just I uh, can't seem to find them but for now I'm gonna hold it here with some zip ties We're going to need a uh, couple of feet of wire as the battery will get relocated to the trunk. So we need a, a block. Run the wire through here. I run it through the inside, not through the bottom. All the way inside like you're running a system through the side door, all the way to the back to a battery, a battery box. That will give me space here for the the intake air intake i'm sorry yeah air intake position right here and uh start chopping away at the aluminum mark this up i mean it's empty now but it's gonna get full of stuff <laughs> 